Welcome to the official Consumers International podcast, the official place to connect with all things Consumers International. You are joined as ever by Nick Kay and James. We believe in a world where everyone has access to safe and sustainable goods and services. We bring together over 200 member organisations in more than 100 countries to empower and champion the rights of consumers everywhere. The consumer movement marks 15th March with World Consumer Rights Day every year as a means of raising global awareness about consumer rights and needs. Celebrating a day is a chance to demand that the rights of all consumers are respected and protected and to protest against market abuses and social injustices which undermine those rights. The theme for this year's World Consumer Rights Day is Trusted Smart Products. This year we want to highlight what consumers want and need from a connected world and how important it is to put them at the heart of development of digital products and services. We spoke to our Head of Digital Change, Liz Cole, who said this about World Consumer Rights Day and the theme of trusted smart products. So let's start by thinking what we mean by a smart product. Um, it, it, it's something that can connect, share and interact with its user and with other devices. Um, you might also have heard them being called consumer IoT or connected products. And we're talking about things, uh, that, a big range of things like smartphones, game consoles, smart TVs, wearable health trackers, thermostats, even toys and of course connected cars. Um, and within the theme of the World's Consumer Rights Day this year, we've also included smartphones. We also, in our research, found lots of um, smart technology being used to assist people, so people with impairments or disabilities, and there's a lot of technology around which can really help people um, live their lives more easily. So, for example, smart watches for people with sight loss that maybe vibrate when the user receives an email, which then translates into braille on the watch face, or smart light bulbs connected to a doorbell or phone which alert deaf people when the phone's ringing or when someone's at the door. So there's some examples of how they're useful for um, all sorts of consumers. If you would like to learn more about this year's campaign and how you can get involved, you can download our public campaign outline and trusted smart products briefing alongside our social media resources, all available in English, Spanish, French and Arabic on a World Consumer Rights Day page. You can also, if you're a member, go on our members resource page using your unique username and password to download the member only pack. Ahead of World Consumer Rights Day 2019, we asked members from a variety of regions globally how smart products and digital advancements have affected consumers in their country. Here are some of their responses. Hi, my name is Guillermo Beltra. I work for BEOC, it's the European Consumer Organization, and we regroup uh, Europe's national consumer organizations in Brussels, and we advocate for fairer uh, markets uh, to the European Union. So we see a whole range of issues uh, when we see connected products for consumers, from adequate information, to connectivity issues, to privacy and security, but also safety, because many of these connected products are going to impact our physical life. Um, and what we're trying to convince the EU institutions to do is to have a very thorough look at how EU law is ready for this challenge or not. My name is Maureen Mahoney. I'm a policy analyst at Consumers Union, which is the advocacy division of Consumer Reports magazine, and I'm based in our San Francisco office. One of the issues that we're most concerned about is connected cars. They have many implications for a variety of issues, um, but in terms of privacy, they're collecting a lot of very sensitive data about consumers, and there aren't many, very many restrictions on what can be collected and how that can be shared. My name is Grome Temuen. I work in the Norwegian Consumer Council. We have worked a lot on, on uh, IoTs, uh, connected devices, and, and, uh, and security. And uh, when we tested, for example, GPS watches for children, we found the mental uh, security issues in, in several of the data security issues in several of the products. I am Professor Felicia Morning, President of Consumer Awareness Organization based in Nigeria. The digital age has, however, created some concerns for consumers. These include accessibility and affordability of essential digital services such as telephone and internet. Consumers International podcast with Nikkei and James. Be sure to keep up to date with all things Consumers International on our website consumersinternational.org and on our official Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn pages.
Our upcoming summit in 2019, on the 29th of April to the 1st of May, will bring together diverse perspectives on both the digital world and consumer needs. For more details about the Consumers International Summit 2019, visit consumersinternational.org summit 2019.